Hey guys, welcome back to Home Theater with Yossi Yas. Today we are talking about a very basic calibration technique which will definitely improve your surround sound and atmos experience. I will recommend you to do this even if you have already done your ODC calibration. If your speaker levels are calibrated properly, you will definitely get a better surround sound experience. Some of my subscribers also told me that they couldn't get the actual atmos height effect even after doing the ODC calibration. So I thought of creating a video on how to do the very basic speaker level matching in your home theater setup. Please note this is not an advanced version. I will just give a very basic way to do the level matching so that even the beginner can do this with the help of appropriate devices. So let's get to the video on basic level matching for your home theater speakers and subwoofers. Let's start with the prerequisites. You should have a good SPL meter to measure the levels from your speakers. I know there are apps available for your Android or iOS devices, but I would recommend you to go for a better SPL meter because how much accuracy we can get, that much we can improve our surround sound experience. You can check on the online stores and get a decent SPL meter. It's not that costly and it is useful if you have a home theater. Here in this video, I'm using my UMIK1 measurement mic and REW software to do the job. I know it's little difficult to use REW software if you are a beginner, but we are not using any advanced features of REW. We just use the SPL meter to measure the speaker levels. So let's start. Before doing the level matching, I will recommend you to do the basic calibration using the mic provided with your AVR or processor. Like ODC calibration. ODC will do a decent job and on top of it, we will do a basic level matching and find out the difference. Once you completed the ODC calibration, open the speaker levels in the configuration. Go to the setup menu. I'm using Marantz AV8805A, the latest 8K flagship processor from Marantz. Mostly all Denon, Marantz, AVRs and processors will have the similar menu options. Now select the speakers, then manual setup. Here you have to go to the levels. Then click on the test tone start. This will start the test tone and will show the already calibrated levels for your speakers. You can see I have a 6.0.4 setup. I'm not using a subwoofer for the time being, but you can do the same procedure for your subwoofer as well if you use one. Let's look at my speaker levels here. The front left, center and right speakers have minus 5.5, minus 3.5 and minus 5.5 dB respectively. And the other speakers have the levels as you can see here. Now what you have to do is find the sweet spot of your theater room and keep the SPL meter or in my case the UMIK mic in a tripod if possible. Since I have only single row of seats, I will keep the mic on the center of the recliner so that I can get a balanced output on each seat. If you have two rows, position the mic in between the first and second row as a center from left and right. Since I am using REW software, I need my PC to connect to the UMIK1 and from the PC to the processor if you are using the pink noise from the RE software. Here I am not using pink noise from REW software because I wanted to make it as simple as possible. Also REW software won't support the high channels or Atmos currently, then you have to use your processor's test on for rest of your channel. So let's use the processor test on for this video. I am connecting the HDMI out from my laptop to the processor so that you can see the SPL meter on my projector screen. You don't need to do it if you are not using any output from your REW software. I'm not including the installation of REW software and UMIK1 configuration setup in this video because it is straightforward and you can do this even without REW software. I will do the same if necessary in the upcoming videos. Now open the REW application and click on the SPL meter here. Now you can see a small window pops up. Here you have to check three settings. First one, check if the SPL is selected. Then C weighting should be selected. And third one is the slow measuring should be selected. Because slow measuring will give you more accurate result. Our SPL meter is now ready to read the levels from the speaker. Now what we're gonna do is, we will open the speaker levels in our AVR or processor. Play the test tone for each speaker and measure the same with the SPL meter at a constant volume. Also, we will adjust the levels accordingly to get the same output from each speakers. People use different methods to define the reference levels, but for the easiness of understanding, I will not change any of the calibrated levels here. We will start with the current level in our processor or AVR. 
and increase the volume to a decent level so that the SPL meter is reading at least a 70 dB. So here I will set my master volume at minus 6 dB so that I will get an approximately 70 dB reading on the SPL meter and minus 5.5 dB on my front left channel which I will took as my reference. You can see the SPL meter reading fluctuates. It's normal. You can define a point which may be like not going below 70 dB. That's what I took. Now I will check all other speaker levels and make it produce same 70 dB by just adjusting the levels without changing the master volume. Let's move to the center channel. It's moving above 71 dB so that I have to decrease some points to bring it down to 70 dB. I hope you understand what we are doing here. Just repeat the same step for all the speakers. Once this procedure is done, you have successfully completed the speaker level matching. You should do the same procedure for your subwoofers as well so that you get a better smooth bass from your subwoofer. I got better surround experience after doing the level matching. My Atmos and surround speakers becomes more active. I hope you will also get the same feeling after doing a proper level match. So thank you guys. See you in the next video. Quantum field. Make it do that, you'd have to be the greatest pilot in the universe. Lucky for us, 